I first grabbed this wooden plank that came from Dollar Tree and then I will be applying some brown acrylic paint on top of it using a baby wipe. So I do it this way because what the baby wipe is doing is it's just kind of watering down that brown acrylic paint and once it dries it's going to leave you with this faux wood stained finish. Let that completely dry and then I am just applying some petroleum jelly randomly all throughout the sign and then go ahead and go over it with your top coat. I am using Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. Let that completely dry and then you could go over this sign with a scraper tool and just start scraping some of that plaster chalk paint off. If you don't have a scraper tool, you could always use a sanding block as well. And where you had placed the petroleum jelly, the paint on top of that will just come right off, leaving you with this awesome weathered wood look. I then got these wooden jack-o'-lanterns from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using some black, brown, and orange acrylic paint, just using a Dollar Tree cut-up sponge. I just began applying the darkest coat, which is the black. And before letting that dry, I then just started to add some of the mixture of brown acrylic paint and then just occasionally started adding some orange. Now, if you want, you could go ahead and let those dry a little bit. And if it's still just a little too dark, you could continue to add a little bit more orange. And I did this with very light dabbing motions and look at how cool that looks. Go ahead and grab that sign, find a good placement for your little pumpkins. And I just began hot gluing those right down. I then just made a couple of bows using some jute string. You could get this from Dollar Tree. And then for the middle pumpkin, all I did was just make a different bow with some white and black buffalo check ribbon. And all I did was just hot glue those down where the holes were because I think these jack-o'-lanterns were actually um, originally like little ornaments then i just had some scrabble letters i just spelled out happy halloween just began hot gluing that on the bottom of the sign and just look at how adorable this is now for the hanger you could always just put some jute string on the top or some nautical rope but i had these wooden beads that i got from amazon Using a Ziploc bag, I just mixed up some orange and some uh, brown acrylic paint, spray it down with some water just to water it down, place those wooden beads right inside, just gave it a good shake, let those completely dry, and then I just put those right onto a piece of jute string, and this is going to be my hanger. So once those are dry, look at how pretty that color is. So once that is dry, just go ahead and place that sign face down. Add a little bit of hot glue where you want the ends of those uh, beads to be. I used my staple gun as well, just for some extra support. And now you have this cute little hanger. I love it. And there you go, guys. Look at how adorable this came out. This was super easy and inexpensive to create. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.